Today, I made the greatest basketball player ever, but he starts at a 40 overall. At the beginning of every year, I will compete in a challenge. If I win the challenge, the player will get an upgrade. The goal of this video is to get him to 99 overall and help him become the GOAT. Subscribe to the channel. I'm 20% homeless, and also check out my Twitch. I stream every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the description. Let's go. Well, let's go ahead and get into our first challenge. Actually, help the GOAT become the GOAT, and that's going to be a Larry Birdle. And here's our number generator for Larry Birdle, and that number is going to go ahead and be a six. Okay, so we got to get it right in six attempts. Start off with my favorite player, Duncan Robinson. Okay, we got the Eastern Conference, and he's over 28 years old. All right, he's like 29 or 30. I have a weird guess that it's Brooke Lopez. Well, that's what I'm going to run with. Let's see if I'm getting anywhere closer to that. Okay, Eastern Conference center down. Okay, lower than 7-1. I'm pretty sure Montrez is still in Philly. Let's see if Montrell is anywhere close to... Okay, so we, okay, so he does play for the Sixers. I'm right on that. Is Embiid really 29 years old? Let's see if he is. I don't know. Oh, he really... I didn't think he was that old. I thought he was maybe like 27, 26. Okay, I don't know why I thought that he was drafted in like 2014. But we did get it right in under six turns. So we're going to see what our upgrade is going to be for the GOAT. It's going to be plus one to all play playmaking badges. And while that kept him out of 40 overall, but he does now have every single playmaking badge in the game. Luka getting an MVP. And the Lakers are relevant, but it's not really relevant to this video. Because a potential ring really wouldn't have value if our guy is playing zero minutes. And the Lakers lost in the first round anyway. And Philly went ahead and won it all and beat the guy we just had our Larry Bird on winning it all. The GOAT is still a 40 overall, but he's definitely improving, just not enough to get over that 40 overall hump. And well, I guess I'm one for one for actually trying to help the GOAT become the GOAT, and we have ourselves another Larry Birdle. I found a random number generator that might be more pleasing. 3, 2, 1, stop, and it's gonna be I gotta get it in three guesses. I actually don't hate the Duncan Robinson guess, so you know, we are gonna start out with that yet again. Okay, he got us forward, 6, 7, 28 years old, not in the Easter Conference. Okay, I gotta, I gotta think really hard here. The first player that kind of went to my head was Wiggins, but I'm not sure if he's actually 28. I feel like he's older than that at this point. You know what? I'm gonna guess Wiggins. <laughs> It was actually Wiggins. That's crazy. Listen, man, I more than anyone want to see the GOAT actually become the GOAT, and we got to do whatever it takes, plus one to all defensive badges. So now he has every single playmaking and defensive badge in the game, but he's still a 40 overall. The Sim God Darius Garland getting one. The Lakers are still in relevance as the fifth seed, and the GOAT is currently still irrelevant. We still got a lot to do. The Lakers got bounced in the second round, and the Sixers won it all again, and B just going on a dynasty run. And LeBron might have retired a little too early here. We're not ready yet. I don't think LeBron's ready to hand the keys over to a 41 overall 7-7. Guard. So let's see if we can go ahead and prove LeBron wrong. We're to get NBA Jeopardy. All right, something new. Got to pick a number between one and five. You'll see why in a second. Here we go. It's going to be one. And that one means I can pick from any of the 100 spots here on the NBA Jeopardy board. I feel like championships is probably the easiest one, so we'll do that. What NBA player has the most rings? Okay, well, who is Bill Russell is my answer. How do I see How do I see the answer? Oh, okay. What, it, what is Bill Russell? I thought it would be like, who is Bill Russell? That doesn't really... Is that how it's said in Jeopardy? I don't know. The hardcore Jeopardy fans in the comment section, let me know. Plus one, the hard... <laughs> We're getting a defensive guru right here is a 40 overall. He went up to a 42 overall, and he now has his first Hall of Fame badge, which is Brick Walk. Congrats to him. I mean, he is 350 pounds, so I guess it makes sense. I don't think I've ever seen Evan Mobley win the MVP. This is very weird. And maybe I'm just out of the loop, and so are the Lakers. They're in the playing tournament. And the Lakers actually made it out of the play, but they lost in the first round. And the Thunder win it all. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 97 overall. That's insane. Okay, now we're starting to make some progress up to a 46. He's almost got a better jump shot than me. And now let's go ahead and hope this next challenge will be as easy as the last one. Another Larry Bird I mean, there are only four challenges, but we've gotten this three out of the four times. And here's our random number three, two, one, stop. It's gonna... Be, no, I, I'm not gonna get lucky here with Andrew Wiggins again. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, well, that did not give us a lot. Yeah, okay. Now I might be cooked. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and guess Al Horford. Okay, we got Eastern Conference Center, a little taller than 6'9", lower than 36, and lower than 42. All right, well, we're, we're in trouble. Okay, I've thought about every single team in that third division, and I'm thinking it has to be Drummond or Vucevic. I don't think Vucevic is old enough yet, so I think I'm gonna lock in Drummond. Let's lock in Drummond. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, it was Vucevic. It's Vucevic. Man, I'm a dumbass, bro. Oh, my God. Like, well, good. I'm sorry, but no upgrade this year for you. I'm, I'm screwing us up. My bad. I just realized Mobley and Garland play for the same team. That's crazy. And just maybe if I was better at Larry Bird, the Lakers wouldn't be in poverty. Now, nah, they probably would still be. I don't think getting him to a 50 overall would have been enough anyway. And the Pistons win it all. Cade Cunningham getting a ring. Well, he only went up three overalls. Would have went up a lot more if I knew that Vucevic was older than Drummond. I, I, I got to stick on that, bro. Like, I, I got to wear that. It just feels like Drummond's been in the league for, like, 15 years, man. Random sport NBA quiz. All right, here we go. So I'm going to press this random NBA quiz button, and I have to get whatever the average score is. We'll see at the end of the quiz. Since the 1984 playoffs, can you name the five players who started three or more consecutive Oakland and playoff games together on the same team? What the hell? All right, so I got 36 out of 50, which I think will be enough for the average, but okay, that heat one's really pissing me off. Oh my God, it was Haslam. Oh my God, dude, I'm so I'm sorry, bro. I forgot the last time that man legitimately played minutes. That's the problem. All right, well, I'm going to give up. I definitely probably got enough for the average. Okay, yeah, the average score was 70%. 
that I got 76. But we did get the goat the upgrade after that very embarrassing part. Oh my god, we just keep getting badges. That brought him to a 50 overall, and I guess we're on our way to getting every single badge in the game. Shea with an MVP. And the Lakers randomly got themselves to the sixth seed. We're still waiting on that NBA minute. And the Thunder went ahead and went it all. Shea building his legacy. Our goat's up now to a 54 overall. We have to get him actual attributes this time. What do we got? First to score five points, play now online. All right, here we go. We're going to spin to find out which NBA team I have to be. And that team's going to go ahead and be the Raptors. Ew. Well, a big part of getting the five points first is winning the jump ball. All right, here we go. Little pick and roll action. Dame behind me. I'm just going to go right for the lay. All right, good start. 2-0. I'm on that. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I think we're going to win this. Fred Van Vliet. Oh, I thought he'd bite on it, but okay, I guess not. I'm just going to go around him, lay it up. All right, we got four. We're playing it safe. I think this guy's going to go out of bounds. Oh, it looked like he was getting ready to go out of bounds. I don't know what this guy... Maybe he's in on it. I don't I don't know who this guy is. Is he going to quit the game? I t okay, I win. I know I didn't get the five, <laughs> but he literally quit. So I'll go ahead and get myself an upgrade for the GOAT here. It's going to be lowest rating, boost 99. I mean, he has a lot of low ratings, so we'll see which one gets boosted. Well, I scrolled through and looked through every single rating, and the lowest one he has is acceleration. So we're putting that at a 99. And that got him all the way to a 57 overall. Garland having a Hall of Fame career. And the Lakers are the worst team in the league. And the Magic win the championship, Brandon Miller. Okay, look at him. Only went up two overalls. And he also lost all of his finishing badges and playmaking because he doesn't actually have any of the attributes. I'm not going to lie it is looking bad right now for the go we got another larry Birdle. here's our random number three two one stop it's gonna be six okay that gives me some leeway gonna start off with our guy yet again okay literally nothing okay <laughs> just not one thing i'm gonna do a weird guess let's go steph curry okay western Conference pacific division guard a little taller than six two under 35 but he's definitely old is this westbrook <laughs> i feel like this actually might be westbrook is it westbrook that's my guess it is westbrook look at that okay i've been doing pretty well larry Birdle. what we got here for our upgrade finally some attributes plus 20 to all defense and that's very convenient. And that brought him all the way up to a 60 overall. We're right there. Garland just racking up MVPs. Lakers are still bad. And the GOAT randomly went up one overall, but still, again, has not played a year yet. And the Rockets went ahead and won it all. Jabari Smith, finals MVP. He's still at a 61 overall. He had some numbers to go up, but just barely. Why is draw foul just randomly going down one or four, whatever? Hopefully, that can help the GOAT here on our next challenge. We're going to go ahead and get first to five again. All right. Just give me, like, an okay basketball team. Like, uh, uh the Knicks? Yeah, sure. All right. That's probably the most okay basketball team you could choose. Is this guy the all-time Bucks or an old Bucks team? Mitchell, Mitty, nice shot. I had no idea he could make that, or I didn't know his jumper either. Lob it to Mitchell. Hey, all right, we got four. RJ, game time. There we go. All right, we're done. The GOAT is in desperate need of help right now. Plus 20 to all. Okay, we're just going to become a defensive specialist. And that brought the GOAT up eight overalls or what? No, seven overalls. I'm wrong. Okay, well, you, you get the point. This man is still a reserve, but he shouldn't be a reserve by next year. Scoot getting an MVP. I don't know how the Lakers are this bad. And the Thunder win it all. Matas Bazoulis, if I said that right, wins the championship. Hopefully now the GOAT's good enough to start or at least get a rotation spot. I hate to say it, but we're starting to run out of time here, bro. We got to start getting these rings and getting these minutes. Random NBA quiz. Can you name the NBA players and guess the mystery teammate they all shared okay that's interesting so this person was a teammate of all these guys and i have two minutes to figure it out but i probably already got the average score i just had to figure this out my first guess was like vince carter or something like i feel like vince carter would be a good guess but i don't think vince carter ever played with dwight unless i'm just tweaking okay my guess is vince carter i don't know who else oh it is vince carter okay i, I didn't know who else it would be other than vince carter i was just thinking what old head played for a million teams we got plus 20 to all finishing if we would have got defensive that would have been insane and that put the good up to a 73 overall which just keeps him out of the rotation but hopefully he starts getting minutes over the course of the season i guess i can only dream and the lakers traded the goat to the celtics what why would you ever trade with the celtic why does this team have Giannis and lonzo is <laughs> such a random team and the goat didn't play a single minute this season man come on and the thunder won the chip bro they've won so many rings i think at this point he has to be a rotation piece if we would have kept those finishing and playmaking badges he'd be looking pretty good right now but what are you gonna do on to the next challenge that's gonna go ahead and be another larry Birdle. we got our randomizer here three two one stop it's gonna be five okay that, that's nice you know what they say keep it simple stupid okay easter coverage forward exactly 6'7", and he's 29 or 30 years old. My first thought was Tobias Harris, but I think he's 6'8", or 6'9", I believe. You know what? I'm just gonna put in Tobias Harris. I have plenty of guesses. It's not Tobias Harris. Oh, it actually is Tobias Harris. I didn't think he was only 6'7", bro. I'm a guru, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm cracked. I would like to say that was my best one, but I feel more proud of the Wiggins one, because I really thought hard about that one. Lowest rating boost of 99. And his lowest rating is speed, so he's gonna have 99 speed and 97 excel. And that was enough to finally earn him a rotation spot on an NBA team. It's a about time. Victor going back to back. Doesn't this team have Giannis? How do they suck? Anyway, the GOAT put up a solid seven points a game shooting 35% from the field. Yeah, we don't have too much offensive ability. We're just a defensive lockdown player with high speed. And the Pacers win the whole thing. Ja just randomly in Indiana. And the GOAT is sky 
skyrocketed to an 83 overall. So we just got to put the cherry on top here and get him to a 99. We got first to score five again. I guess we'll see what NBA team I go to. And it's going to be the Mavs. That's going to be kind of glitchy with Luka. All right. Okay. He's playing some, some good, honest defense here so far. You're not getting the steal. Little midi. All right. Go ahead to start. I got that. Someone grab it. There we go. I'm just going to fade. Hopefully, I timed it right. That's nasty, bro. All right, well, I got five. So let's go ahead and get an upgrade. Hopefully something good. Plus one to all finishing. Okay, that we get our badges back. And that kept them at an 83, but at least we'll be able to build off these badges. Got John Indiana winning one. And the GOAT got traded again to the Thunder. The GOAT and Lonzo for Johnny Ball and Caleb Foster. And the GOAT had a nice first season, dropping 12 points a game. You know, not as efficient, but we're getting there. And this Thunder team was able to coast to the finals against the Bucks. who have Scotty Barnes, Dyson Daniels, and bam. Ooh, this is a nasty team. And we got a close one here looking for a sweep. Barnes on the right wing gives it down the Noel on the post. Noel going to work. And he... Damn, bro. <laughs> that was just such a hard brick for the end of a finals game. I just couldn't even fathom it. I guess we'll take whatever we can get when trying to add to the Ghost legacy. So it's something. He had a good game, too. Second leading scorer on the team. And the Ghost now the third best player on the team at an 86. Let's go ahead and get on to our next challenge. We're just going to go ahead and be another... Le We've done how many Larry Burtles compared to every other challenge here? Here's our random number. Three, two, one, stop. And we got a five. Okay, that's nice. Once again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Eastern Conference forward. Okay, the, no the jersey number is weirdly close. Is this like Al Horford or something? Does Al Horford wear a high jersey number? That's just Kind of what, what I'm guessing. Okay, he plays for Boston. All right, we're getting there. Is it Blake Griffin and they just have him listed as 6'10"? Is it actually Blake? It's not Blake. Okay, I knew it wasn't Blake. Gallinari hasn't played like any minutes at all, but I think it might be Gallon. It's not Gallinari. Bro, I don't know who this is. Why does it say age undefined? <laughs> what? Is he like an alien? All right, my final guess is Luke Cornette, bro. Like, I don't I don't know who this is. I, I, I have no other guesses. I have no idea. Okay, it's not. I knew it wasn't Luke Cornette. It was Mike Muscala. Oh my God, it's such a forgettable play. Wait, I didn't even know he was in Boston. Dude, wow, that's that's bad, bro. He must have got traded, released, or something, bro. Because I swear to God, if the team was the Thunder, I probably would have guessed Muscala. Because that's what I remember him for. And not, I don't remember him being on Boston. I don't know who Lee West is, but he got an MVP. And look at the GOAT winning sixth man of the year, dropping 18, 7, and 5. Looking good. Why does every team this man joins lead to straight poverty? Well, it is what it is. And the Pistons win the championship. Ron Holland finals MVP. The GOAT's now up to an 88. Now, I believe we've only lost two challenges this whole video. So we even can't kind of screw Another Larry Birdle. Three, two, one. Stop. It's going to be six guesses. All right, we can get it in six. Let's start out with it again. We got Eastern Conference, the same exact jersey number. Does Robert Williams wear 55, or am I just, like, being weird here? I, I don't actually know if he does, but I'm just going to take a guess. Okay, he doesn't wear 55, but it's in the Atlantic Division. He's a center, and he's younger than 12. Okay, it's a young player. Brooklyn, does Nicholas Claxton wear 55? I guess I'll guess Claxton. I, I don't think he does, but, okay, it's not Claxton. The Knicks. Oh, is it Mitchell Robinson? Does he wear 55? I guess that'll be my guess. Mitchell Robinson, and it's not. Okay, he played. Okay, what? Oh, oh, it's um, um, a Harvenstein. 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 Harvenstein? Isaiah Harvenstein. That's who it is. All right, we got we got Harvenstein. I definitely remember picking that guy up a few times for fantasy basketball. We got plus 20 in all shooting. He's already pretty much a knockdown shooter, but I guess this will help. So now he's got a 99 three ball. Yeah, all right, looking pretty good. Why is he still not starting over Lonzo? What the hell is this? Lee West building his own legacy before the GOAT, while we have the GOAT winning back-to-back -back six Man of the Year awards. And OKC is relevant. How about that? We'll see how far they get in the playoffs. And well, they're not going very far here. They competed with Golden State, almost came back 3-0, but they lost in seven. And Philly went ahead and won it all. Lee West just, okay, becoming the GOAT. And the GOAT's almost the best player on the team as a 91 overall. Fun fact, he's still not starting for the team. I don't know what that coach is smoking. NBA Jeopardy. 3, 2, 1, stop. It's gonna be 4. I guess we'll go with offensive stats of 400. We did chips last time. An NBA player once had 30 assists in a single game. Who was it? That was um Scott Skiles. I believe that is how you pronounce his name. Scott Skiles. That is who I'm going with. So we'll press space bar and it was Scott Skiles. Alright, there we go. I only know that because I used to, uh, with all the 2K sims, you look at all the, the league leaders and stuff like that, you see Scott Skiles most assists in NBA history. Kind of sad, I know, but let's see what we got here. Plus 20 to all playmaking. Okay. His passing and ball heading were already pretty good, but he got him up to a 92. Let's see what the GOAT does now starting for his team. And there goes the GOAT capping off an MVP, dropping a triple-double. And he's got his team as the best team in the league. And listen, we have plenty of time to build his legacy to become the GOAT if he just caps off some championships here. He's got plenty of time. This might be the most stacked basketball team I've seen in a simulation. This is insane. And it looks like the GOAT just got the greatest championship ring of all time. This man just beat four superstars in one series. All right, it goes up to a 94. Still got to get him the 99, which we'll get him there. Well, hopefully get there as long as I don't sell any more challenges. We got NBA Jeopardy. Okay. Three, two, one. Stop. We got four again. We'll do defensive stats, sure. An NBA player once had 11 steals in a single game. Who was it? Oh, God. I actually don't know this. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to play it safe and say Gary Payton, but I'm probably wrong. Who is it? Okay. Kendall Gill. There is no way I was getting that, bro. I know he played for Charlotte, I believe. There's just no way I was getting that. Well, maybe I will be the reason the go does hit 99. We'll see. Going to have to keep stacking these up and keep getting these number one seeds. And we just got smacked by the Warriors here in game seven of the second round.
second round. But that's a bad year. We need more rings. And yeah, there goes that dynasty. And the GOAT decided to take his talents to Miami. I didn't write the script. 2K did. But let's see if I can help the script out and get him to a 99 overall. We got first to five. Okay, I'm not going to lose this. And our random MB team is going to go ahead and be the Nets. Ew, I don't know if Mikhail Bridges is really a 2K player. Oh, someone's opening oh, over there on the wing. Who is that? Oh, is that Mikhail? Please? All right, here we go. He's got a good shot. Oh, good D. Grab it. There we go. Who's that? Was that Cam Johnson? Three ball. That's game. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and spin the wheel here. I guess I don't really know what we need. Lowest rating boost of 99. I guess that'll help somewhat. And his lowest rating is standing dunk. I don't really know what that's going to do for us, but okay. Let's see if we can cap off some more championships. We got Evan Mobley on this team, too. We're, we're pretty tough. How did you lose to Isaiah Collier for MVP? Okay, never mind. I understand why you didn't win MVP. You definitely had a good and OKC. I don't know why you left. Oh, my God. This team is awful. I'm going to have to turn this man into 100 overall at this point. We got another Larry Birdle. And we got to get it in. Five tries. Okay. Duncan's a good start here. Eastern Conference forward exactly 6'7. He's 29 or 30 years old. I almost want to guess Tobias Harris again. Like, what if it's actually him again? Okay, it's not, but he plays in Philly. Okay, we're on the right track. There's no way Paul Reed is 29 years old, right? It's not Paul Reed, right? I'm not... Okay, yeah, it's not Paul Reed. Oh, wait, is this Montrez Harrell? Is this one Montrez Harrell? No! Oh, it's Niang, bro. I forgot about... Oh my god, bro. That's so nasty. I'm ass. That's on me. That's, that's my bad. We got Ron Holland with an MVP, which means probably Miami didn't do good. Yep, we're the ninth seed. And we won our first playing game. And we won the second, so we're in. But that didn't matter. We just got swept by the MVP. We realistically have four to five years left with the GOAT, so we gotta rack up as many rings as you can. Who is this guy? 21 years old, 83 overall? But yeah, I gotta stop selling these challenges, bro. It's getting really bad. Another, uh, oh, okay. Random quiz. Can you name the NBA rookies who scored 50 more points in a game regular season? Okay. I got a minute left, but I definitely got the average at this point. Oh, Elvin Hayes, that's his name. What, did he do it? Oh my god. Oh, he, he played for the Rockets. I thought he also played for the, the Wizards, right? Or Bullets, whatever. Right, I'm gonna give up on that one, but I should have the average score. Earl, oh, Earl the Pearl, man. How did I get that? But I got the average score. Let's go to spin that upgrade wheel. Hopefully, no badges. We don't need badges, and we just get badges. Okay, well, that's great. But those playmaking badges were somehow enough to get him into a 99, which means now the challenges are over, and now it's just time to rack up as many rings as possible in rewards to try to make a case to be the GOAT. He so far has two MVPs, two rings, one of those kind of men, but the second one's the greatest ring of all time. He's got two DPO. Why? So he's all, he's got a shot. All right, we're doing good here. Got an MVP, which means the Heat did good. Or I guess you can win an MVP in the playing tournament. And we were able to get by the first round, but we're out of here in a gentleman sweep in the second. He's only 37 years old, man. We, we don't got a lot of time. The GOAT with another MVP drop on a triple-double. And we have some relevance. We're the third seed. And we're going to get bounced in the first round to Washington. That, that's bad, bro. This is this is bad on the resume. Dropping 10 points in an elimination game. Okay, this is a stain, bro. Well, GOAT, you joined Philly at the wrong time. Should have joined when they had 490s, but I guess we'll take it. You're playing with Scoot. Let's see if Scoot could save his legacy. Well, Victor stole an MVP, but at least Philly's good at basketball. And he's got himself another first round exit. This is embarrassing, bro. And he keeps choking in big games. 13 points, 2 for 10, 0 for 6. Like, what are you doing? And then he just went ahead and retired. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry. I was going to ask you guys to comment below if you think he made an argument, but uh, hell no. Four MVPs, two-time NBA champion, five-time defensive player of the year is very impressive. So, he, you know, he's going to be high on a lot of people's list just as a talent. Well, that's going to do it. Had all the talent in the world, but just going to become the GOAT. Goodbye.